Hey everyone, if you're seeing error code CAA2000B when you try to sign into Outlook, don't worry, you're not alone, and there's a straightforward fix you can use right now. Basically, what's happening is that the Microsoft Information Protection API application has been disabled in Azure Entra for many tenants, which blocks the sign-in flow for Outlook. By flipping that setting back on and clearing your team's cache, you can get everything working again. To start, sign in to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center using an account that has Global Admin or Application Admin privileges. From there, head to All Admin Centers in the left-hand menu, then click into Microsoft Entra ID. Once you're in Entra, choose Enterprise Applications from the sidebar. You'll want to clear any filters so you can see the full list of applications, then search for Microsoft Information Protection API in that list and click to select it. When you open the properties for the Information Protection API, you'll see a toggle labeled Enabled for users to sign in. If that's turned off, users won't be able to authenticate through Outlook, so simply switch it on and save your changes. That small step re-enables the API's ability to accept sign-in requests, and it's what stops error CAA2000B from popping up. After you adjust that setting in Entra, you'll need to clear the cache on any affected machines so the change takes effect. On a Windows PC, Open File Explorer, paste percent %appdata% percent backslash Microsoft backslash Teams into the address bar, and press Enter. Then delete everything inside the cache folder. Once that's done, close and restart Microsoft Teams, or simply reboot if you prefer, and then launch Outlook again. At this point, your Outlook client should be able to reach the Information Protection API without error, and you'll breeze past the CAA2000B message. If you still run into issues, make sure you've got the correct permissions in Azure and that you saved the change in the Entra portal. But in most cases, re-enabling that one application and clearing out the team's cache is all it takes to get everyone back online. Thanks for watching, and good luck, feel free to drop a comment if this helped you, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick fixes.